How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to try some gourmet food. This is the Furman 100% Iberico acorn fed pork loin. A little background here. I went to Spain. They eat a lot of ham over there and the specialty ham are these kinds of pigs that gets fed acorn and you can actually taste a little bit of nuttiness in the meat. If you want to find it, you might have to go to a gourmet store. Oftentimes when you're in those stores, they have a lot of different varieties, right? You're like, why would I buy this for $10 or $20 when there's like only like two ounces of it in here? After you have traveled a little bit and you got a taste of it and you're like, oh, I know that's good. And so you would pay a premium to kind of reminisce about the days that you were traveling. It's like, oh, it was so good back then. Anyway, let's open this up and take a look at it. Two ounces of this cost me $10. This means this goes at about $80 a pound. It's 100% Iberico. It's from Spain. Lomo, I assume that's loin. Minimally processed, no artificial ingredients. If you look at the back, got a nice picture over here. For a ham, you hardly see this kind of stuff, which is gluten-free, lactose-free, no nitrites, or nitrates added. The nutrition facts, put it under hot water for eight to 10 seconds before serving. Take this out of the package. Looks like cured meats type of stuff. Looks very delicious, but it's not the most expensive type. It's not the ham part of it. So this is the loin. Let's open it up. I have a strawberry fizzy drink over here to go with my ham. I use one tablespoon of strawberry jam and a soda stream. Let me give this a taste test here. It's gonna be oily. Okay, here we go. It's thicker than expected. Salty. Tastes good. I mean, mm, it's pretty comparable for what I had in Spain, I think. Maybe not as fresh because sometimes I would get it from the butcher shop and then they would cut it right then and there off of a big pork leg. 14 pieces, that comes out to be around like 75 cents each piece. Hmm. It certainly smells the part. Like, there's this richness to it. It's different than like prosciutto. If you had prosciutto, it's salty. It's meaty, but you don't get the same aroma. There's more aroma in Iberico ham. There's a creaminess to it. This will go really well with, I'd say like a baguette. They do this over there. It's like a little sandwich thing. Put like a couple of slices of this stuff on and then like, I guess like smear it with tomato and garlic. Like sometimes you just want to have it by itself. Just like have the full taste of the ham by itself. I'd say I would get this again. In fact, I probably would try their ham instead of the loin. It wasn't available at the gourmet food store that I was at, but you know, trying this loin one, it's cheaper. And I would say the flavor comparison to the ham, it's the texture that's different. Taste is a little bit different. It's like not as tender, I think. And I guess they marinated it with something because I can see this oil and it's a little bit reddish. Maybe it's just from the ham itself. Mmm, smells good. That's a really good sign when, when it smells good. It's hard to describe what kind of smell this is. It's not, it doesn't smell like acorn. It smells like ham. You just have this with wine or whatever, but over here I'm having strawberry fizzy drink. Now I'm gonna find this on Amazon as well and I'll put those link down in the video description below if you guys are interested in getting it for yourself. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.